with a happy vintage shopper welcome to another haul video so um i did some more shopping of course i went to the honey hole three times and i went to saint finney's in watertown i went to goodwill two times no one time and I'll show you what I got so I got quite a bit here so we'll see how we do so um yeah so I haven't been finding as much as you guys know so I'm not getting like loads of stuff but it's okay because I'm getting I'm looking for more quality things so that's always better so I'm doing something new I know so I've been approved to sell on an online auction called Whatnot. So if you don't know what Whatnot is, it is an app that you download and I create um, an online auction show with some items and I preload the items in and then um, people can pre-bid and then I start the auction and I sell things. So it's pretty cool. So. Now I have another way to kind of get myself out there and yeah, sell some things. So that means more shopping. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so let me, I have some things out here and then I have a couple of bags down here. So let's get going because we don't want this to be too long. So, um, so let's start with the Goodwill things cause they're not as fun. I'm going to be honest. But, um, so I went to the Goodwill in Fort Atkinson and I spent, what did I spend? $16. I rounded up to $17 because I'm nice. Um, and you guys know I like to sell my shoes. So these are Keen, K-E-E-N, great brand. I paid $6 for them. I did try them on. They do fit me. So I may end up keeping these because I do not have a pair of these like water proof like hiking kind of shoes ish I could use a seven these are six and a half so I'll try them on again and if not then I will resell them now the canvas don't sell for as much money so I probably wouldn't be able to get as much for them so I may end up keeping those and then you know I buy like to buy men's shoes um, anytime I can find quality men's shoes um, and the men's shoes haven't been selling as fast for me I think it's because it's summer um, but these are a chuck -a boot These were $6. Um, the name brand is Herschel. They do have some, um, obviously resale. And you can tell by picking up a men's shoe, the quality of it. They are leather. They're kind of a suede navy chuck -a boot And I have, do have pretty good luck with chuck -a boots These were $5.99. I can probably get 40 to 45 for these, maybe more. So we'll see. So I got those, and then I picked up this goofy thing. So at the Goodwill, there hasn't been anything really. So um, I was kind of doing that, what I do, which is the, the outside the box thinking and kind of really digging a little bit deeper. So I found this bag, okay? I'm like, well, what the heck is that goofy thing, right? It's shaped weird. So I looked it up and looked up this brand and it's for ski boots. So it's a ski boot bag. I paid $4 for it and I can probably get 35 to 40 for this. So I'll get that listed, easy to ship. You know, I'll just squish it down, throw it in a bag and off it goes. So I get that listed. So that was good. And then I went to um, the St. Vinny's in Watertown. Now remember at that St. Vinny's, you have to have cash only. There's no checks, no debits, it's just cash. So I'm, uh, you know, I got my little cart and I'm walking and I saw these and I about lost it. So I'm gonna be picking 20 items to sell at on my first online auction with whatnot. And um, I have some glass what I wanna sell and I have some nice pottery I wanna sell. And then I found these. Now these were just sitting on the shelf. Now at this Goodwill, or at this um, St. Vinny's, they have the really nicer glassware vintage items in a case in the back. 
and pretty much everything in that case is marked at almost retail prices so I can't really buy any of it for resale but they missed these mm, oh yeah they did ready ready look at these so these are from probably the 50s maybe 60s these are flamingos obviously they were 75 cents a piece now i haven't looked them up to find out how much i can get for them but i know i can get more than 75 cents a piece there are no chips no repairs, no cracks, no nothing. These are like they came right from the factory. I mean, come on. I mean, come on. Come on. So I'm going to put these in my whatnot sale for sure. Should I sell them separately? Should I sell them as a pair? Probably as a pair. So that was pretty fun. I was super stoked about that. I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm good. Like I did keep looking around, but I could have just left at that point because I was like pretty pumped. And you guys know I'm putting together something called a junk jar. So I grabbed this little nugget for my junk jar. It was 50 cents. Thought it was kind of cute. Has some age to it. And then I found this little, um, this is a perfume bottle. So it's um, etched and painted with some gold. Um, here's the stopper. And the stopper is fine. There's no breakage on the stopper at all. Look at how cool that is. Isn't that cool? Very, very pretty. I don't know who makes it. I'll be able to find it on Google Lens. I think I paid maybe $2 for this. I could probably get $15 for it maybe. Yeah, I thought it was kind of cool. I might sell this on my whatnot. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. So that's all I got at the St. Vinny's, okay? So let's move on to my honey hole. So um, I had two... Three honey hole trips. Now, when I went yesterday, what is that with my hair? Sorry about that. When I went yesterday, um, it's like it's like the middle of the week, or it's in in resellers' terms. Monday is a huge day. Okay, so this stuff. Did I get this stuff yesterday? I think I got this stuff yesterday. Normally, when I go middle of the week, I can still find things. But it was cleaned out. There was nothing. And my reseller friend, Linda, who we become very good friends, just meeting each other up at the at the at the honey hole. Uh, we're both just like, what did you find? Nothing. What did you find? Nothing. It was just we just have a good time together. We have such a hoot together. Anyway, so I picked up this little fishy planter. It does have has some age to it. You can tell it was three dollars. I thought it was kind of fun. I might put this in my sale, my whatnot sale. And then I grabbed this milk glass. I don't know what this is. If it was, I don't think it was supposed to have a lid. But how cute would this be with a um, a little succulent in that? Um, there are no markings on the bottom, but it's pastel pink milk glass. So cute. And I think I paid two dollars for this. Two dollar. Okay, so this is um, some things that I picked up last week. I think it was Wednesday or Thursday. Um, so I picked up this. I apologize for the glare. Let me see if I can close this. If this would help. Let's see if that helps some. Eh. I don't think it helps. But anyway, so I picked up this. This is a like a tin, like a copper ship. It's got a cool frame. It is vintage. Um, I did pay up for this. I paid $8.50 for this, but I think I can double my money. I can, I don't put this at five star probably. Put this at five star um, antiques and vintage. So if you don't know already, I have a space, a shelving unit at five star antiques and vintage in Fort Atkinson. If you haven't already gone, you need to go. You will just get lost in time and just have so much fun there. Three floors of the coolest stuff around. Um, then I grabbed this basket because it was $2.50. But um, these baskets, I grabbed this one. Um, they're very much 
in style right now. That boho kind of rattan look is very in right now. So I grabbed this one. I grabbed this one. Some people use these to decorate and put it on their wall. You know, they decorate with a bunch of baskets. This one was $1.50. This one was a dollar. Whoops. This one is one of those, um, <clears throat> they pine, pine needle baskets. So this one I might sell on, this one I might sell on eBay. This has some value. Um, this I could probably get 25 for. So I paid a dollar for this. Very, it's in great condition. It's got some really cool weaving on the inside here. Very, very well done. Very well done. So that one I was really excited to find. Then I grabbed these two little girls. These two little kissing girls. Two little, two little, um, they call them angels. They are Christmas. So I'll probably save these for my Christmas. Oh no, it's a boy and a girl. Sorry about that. Um, this is a little boy, but he's got, there's like something in the hair. So I assumed it was a two girls, but this one's got a little thing in the hair. They are a Nesco. They are so sweet. I paid a dollar each for those. I paid, a, I'll look those up. Google lens those and see if something comes up and see if I can find those maybe. Now I grabbed this. This was, this is a picture frame. This is not to resell. It's 70 cents. Um, so when I go with my friends, um, we go to Florida every two years. And then every time there's a wedding where we do photo shoots at a wedding, you get those pictures that are three. So we've done that a couple times. And I think I can put two sets of those pictures in here and then a picture of our trips. I thought that'd be kind of cool for 70 cents. All right, then I grabbed this guy. So this is very, very like holiday, holiday, or what is it? Hollywood Regency, they call it. Um, two cherubs hugging themselves um, with a planter. Now, this has got a, um, a base that is marble. There are no markings on this. But to me, it's definitely vintage. Oh, yeah, there is markings on the bottom. The planter is Hull, H-U-L-L. -L. So I should be able to look this up. Now, am I going to sell this on eBay? No, it's heavy. I'm going to put this in my space at Five Star. Very, very cool. You can even use this for like a, a place to put your keys or whatever at, by your back door. Um, did I pay for this? I can't remember. Like $2.50 maybe? I love that. That I would love to keep, but I can't keep it all. I can't keep it all, people. I grabbed this. This was this was two fifty. I grabbed this. This is a ball jar, two fifty. I thought this would be a great um, whatnot um, vessel that I could put um, make another not whatnot like a junk jar. Start collecting some more things and throw them in there. I am gonna. Um, do a giveaway at my whatnot auction and I'm going to put together that jar and do a giveaway so I can do a giveaway within the within the um, auction and it's very fun and then nobody pays shipping I just send it out so I grabbed four of these Francoma mugs so Francoma is very collectible if you find that anywhere or maybe you collect it yourself just remember, if there's anything you see here that you're interested in, email me at happyvintageshopper at gmail, and we will chat. But I grabbed four of these. These are a nice mug. Um, I paid a dollar fifty each for them, and I can probably get a set of four. Probably is like thirty thirty dollars, and I will probably put these up on eBay just because people are. It's because of the collectability of them. People are looking for them, and I'll probably they don't take up as much space in my in my shelving unit at five star and I can move those pretty quickly, I think. And then I grabbed a couple of flower frogs, $2 and $1.50. And I can usually sell these for like six bucks. So I don't make a ton of money on them, but you know, they're fun. They are fun. I grabbed a couple more things for, to fill up the, the um, junk jar, this little, Oh, elephant. He was 30 cents. So I'm looking for the smalls right now. This was another 30 cent. Er, it says 
um, <clears throat> says Bucky Badgers on it. Can you guys see that? And then on the back it says Happy Charm. Okay. <laughs> the, little, the little bell. I'm going to put that in there. Alright. And that is it for that box. <clears throat> and now I have another bag of goodies. We'll see what's in here. These are still wrapped, so I apologize for the noise. Um, oh, <laughs> this was funny. This was $1.50, and I grabbed it because it is coffee-related. It says Coffee Hound. Isn't that cute? And then it says back to work on the inside when you get to the bottom of your cup. It's time to go back to work. Coffee break's over. Um, it says personal property. Um of Japan. So it's just really cute. Just kind of kitschy and fun. I like that. I will put that probably at my space at five star. Then I grabbed this little gal. And I don't know much about her. So I'm going to do some research and learn a little bit about her. This is like a Tom Collins glass. It does say UNESCO on the bottom. And it is it's got a little lady on it looking all fancy and Victorian sort of. So I know it was two dollars, but I'm gonna just try to learn about that and see see what that what she she probably came in a like set of six or eight. Um, but we will see. What's this? What's this? Oh yeah. These were kind of fun. So these are salt and pepper shakers. Um, these were a dollar each, okay, and they are shells. Very, very cool, very beachy. Um, so when I was in there at my honey hole, um, and the vintage guy who, who's the guy who prices everything and brings it all out, he brought out a bunch of salt and pepper shakers. And what was really cool is the lady who collected these, so she would... On the bottom of everything that she collected, she wrote the year and where she bought, where she got them. So this is, um, they say 1965 and they say Idaho on the bottom. So that was kind of, those were kind of fun, fun and beachy. And, oh yeah, so I grabbed these. Okay, and trying to find the other one. Oh, wait till you see those. Those are so cute. Where's the other one of those? I'm not telling you what. It's going to be the last thing I pick up. Yeah. So these are, these were made in Japan. These are... <coughs> Salt and pepper shakers, they have butterflies on them. I just thought they were fun. They were a dollar each, which I don't know why they price the salt and pepper shakers separately there. Why don't they just say $2 for the set? Because really, would someone buy one and then they don't find their friend? I mean, they belong together. Anyway, so I grabbed those. And then I grabbed these guys. Okay, these guys, dollar each. I mean, put them together. Look at these guys. <laughs> these are what's called anthropomorphic. So their faces are made to look more like human. I'm pepper. I'm salt. <laughs> they, they hug each other. So they do say um, made in Japan on the bottom. But I thought they were pretty fun. Those are fun to find. I haven't found any anthropomorphic items anywhere. Um before like in the wild so that was kind of fun this one does have a little bit of a chippy on his ear but nothing nothing major I mean they're they're old guys they're old guys and then oh oh and then I grabbed a few more things for my junk jar jars these this little mug so 30 cents 30 cents just kind of cute I have been selling earrings at five star I have my little booth set up with um, earrings on. Look at this little guy. I'm going to put that in my jar. A little strawberry pitcher. 
he would this is probably from a child's little tea set don't you think then i grabbed uh oh this one broke well that sucks I'm gonna have to glue that bag on there. This is a little pin that's a fish that needs some assistance. It's 50 cents, I gotta fix them. These are a little, these are 75 cents. So I usually have my earrings for $4 at Five Star. These are little panda bears. And these are little fish rays. They must have been like fish themed. These have googly eyes. These were a dollar, this is a pin kind of funky all oh, funky monkey these are little cats kind of cute and then this is a little pin I might put this in my junk drawer jar that was kind of fun and then I grabbed some postcards so I'm going to start putting um as my package choppers I'm going to start using vintage postcards so I grabbed this whole bag and this whole bag I don't know if these are mostly out of Wisconsin, but this these were all 250. These were 250. So they are really fun. And look at these even have notes on them. I love to read them. I love to read them. So fun stuff. So that's everything I got, I believe. So I think I did pretty good. I got some things for my new auction sale. I just want to make sure I didn't forget anything for you guys. Um, but these are definitely by far my favoritest find. Favoritest. Is that a word? Favoritest? My favoritest find? My most favorite find. Yeah. So um, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And it's free. And if there is anything you're interested, email me, happyvintageshopper at gmail, and we will talk. And thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And until next time, happy shopping, everyone.